Well, aloha, everyone. Tuesday was a very quiet session for the overall stock market, but it was hard for me to find anything wrong with it. Indexes pulled back across the board on lighter volume with very good breadth in my canceling, perfect speculator, bop scans, and my current holdings. Um, more winners than losers. Overall, in the stocks that were down pulled back very orderly. There were only a few sell signals, and we'll go over those in a minute. The new long positions, there are three high-quality ones. WLH, Can Slim Quality. TDY, Can Slim Quality. KRA, Can Slim and Perfect Speculator Quality. Then for ad signals, MTW and NEPT. So some very nice looking patterns overall. We'll get it started with WLH. WLH, pocket pivot point signal off the 50 day moving average, full body candle over candle, an increase in BOP, an increase in volume. It's above average. I want to get long 2% of my account capital. That's what you should be investing in since it was canceled quality, not confirmed anywhere else but the tertiary scan. 2881 is the limit order. First cut loss level you could use right here, 27.75, and then 27.02. Then you could also get crazy and use 25.54, uh, 24.88 if you want to do it into thirds. So what I'm going to do is a third right at 27.75, a third at 27.02, and then a third all the way down here at 24.88. Remember, if any of these levels go on above average volume or losing green bop, partial 50% at least or 100% of the stop will be raised and that third and final stop will never see the light of day. So WLH, 2%. TDY, another aerospace and defense stock. We just had HEI not too long ago. Had HII this past weekend. Now we have TDY. Are you guys starting to think something might be up? militarily we'll find out but tdy bouncing right off that uptrending 50-day moving average bullish hammer candle over candle pattern i like this chart especially because it shows that it's closing closer to the highs than the chart that i posted on the website bop did fall from the session before but it's still a very strong green above these early levels so it's still holding the the higher levels of green bop average volume it was slightly heavier than the session before. So overall confirmation with that candle over candle print. TDY cancel them only. I want to get long. 182.06. First cut loss level. You could use 180.47. I will be using 178.27. And then final cut loss level, I believe, is this low right here. Nope. Where is it? Oh, boy. Is that it? That's the final cut loss level. Okay, so that's the final cut loss level. So um, it looks like my first cut loss level is going to be 178.27, the, the one cent below the last green bop day here. You could tear it up into thirds, put a third here. I'm going to do half here, and then the final half right here. This is the low, 176.57. Uh, I don't plan on using that low here, so it's going to be either 3, 1, 2, 3, or 2, 1, 2. I'm thinking it's going to probably be just 1, 2 for TDY. KRA is can slim and perfect speculator quality. That is why I don't need to have green BOP. BOP's going in the right direction. Got the pocket pivot point signal right near the 50-day moving average. The heavier volume, it's good enough for me. It is slightly extended from the 20-day moving average, and the 20-day moving average is kind of flatlining overall trending lower so you know i don't like that but i love how the price is by the 10 20 and 50 it's right there first cut loss levels right there second one's here and third one's here so i want to get long kra limit order 4886 not chasing the high of the day due to it being extended from the 20 day moving average first cut loss level 4788 second cut loss level 4629 Final cut loss level 4483 if you want to be a madman you could also then have a Fourth and final cut loss level at 44.09. But since there is no previous green bop or green bop here, it's just these three lows for me.
not a fourth or fifth or sixth, no matter what. So that's it for KRA, perfect speculator can't slim, extended, so it's only a 2% long position. So those are the three new longs. The ads are MTW, perfect speculator can slim, quality long position. Bouncing right at the 50-day moving average, candle over candle, pocket pivot point signal, that blue line, bop slightly higher than the session before while being green and heavier volume. I want to get long MTW at 40.13. Um, I, I don't know where all these stops are here, but it's all like splitting hair here. But, you know, I think it's 38.79, 38, 37.03, and then I'm going to also use 35.19, so I'll have four stops. But like I said, if any of these levels go while losing green bop or on heavier volume, I'll be moving up all or at least half of my stops. And NEPT is the final ad signal. Uh, nice candle over candle, bullish hammer candle over candle pattern. Above average, heavier volume, still has max green bop the past five days. Green bop the past 20 days, confirming its signal in the perfect speculator scam. It's extended from the 20-day moving average by leaps and bounds, and the 50 and 200 by even more leaps and bounds. So it's a risky trade. So the signal is technically just for the perfect speculator. It's halved for being an ad signal, and then it's halved again for being extended. So actually, I have it listed as 0.50%. That needs to be changed to 0.25%. Want to get long this ad signal at 207. First cut loss level right here. 190. Second and final cut loss level, I recommend for everybody 180, but you could also use 169. I'm using, I also think this low here and this low here is my stops. So I still have, I will now have four again. I think I just have three now, unless I do have five and then I have four. I have to check my um, interactive brokers accounts is closed, but either way, um, I'll be staggering my stops on this one because I want to give it some room to work, but I don't want to give it too much room to work. And like I keep saying, if the first, second, or even third stop level fails, it loses that green bop or does it on heavier volume. I'm raising my stops. I don't fart around. And then there is one new hedge signal, EFZ, EFC, bullish candle right here near the lows. Figured this is a great hedge signal. Like I said, anytime I get a good little candle like this, especially if it shows up in both of my green bop scans, five days max, 20 green, I got to take it, especially with the limited risk. So EFZ, I want to get long at 28.55. And, or, excuse me, I wrote this completely down wrong, so it's even listed on the website wrong. I got to change it. I want to get long at 25.55. Uh, cutting my loss with a move below 25.48 at 25.47. Now for the sell signals, there are three high quality cans um, for the sell signals. TAIT was a quasi cancelum stock, so I consider it a high quality. It's failing its 50-day moving average. I'm going to pull up the stocks I am long really quick so you can see when I entered it with the white arrow. T-A-I-T. So you can see I entered T-A-I-T here. My final cut loss level is here. I'll, so it failed the first stop today, so I was knocked out a half whenever it went below this low here because I raised half of it with the reversal on heavy volume. So I was knocked out a half. So whatever I have left, it's like a 1,000 shares or something like that. I'm moving 500 half of it to today's low a day. And for now, the final low a day right here, I believe, is in play. I don't know where it ha where I have it, guys, but it's here or here. You, if you're still long, this should be your final cut loss level. I don't have a full position, and since it still has green bop, I'm willing to give it a little bit more wiggle room. So half of my remaining shares go to today's low a day, 161, and then my final half is either here or here. I don't know. Either way, it's at one of those two levels. You know, we're splitting hairs here. R-A-D-A. It cut through two stops intraday. I moved one to just below this low here, and I had one just below this low here at 311. So it cut through both of those. I still had a stop. Uh, oh, so it, never mind. It cut through. I didn't have. I didn't move one to yesterday's low day. I had one here and had one at this low. Cut through both of them. I still had two stops. One here. One here. So I had a quarter here and a quarter here following the two that triggered intraday. But now, since it went through the low of the last green bop bar low, this is now my new low a day, 301. So if it wouldn't have violated 303, 
and if it is so if it would have held above 303 I would still have more than one stop but I am removing my quarter stop here I'm removing my quarter stop here and I'm moving all of my stops to just below Tuesday's low a day so if it hits three intraday tomorrow I will be completely out of RADA but until RADA closes below this low I will continue to track it on an end of day basis for the website but that's what I'm doing FBNC also same thing below the 50 day moving average on above average volume but still holding its green bop still holding above my final cut loss level so what I'm doing here with this one is once again I got knocked out of half when it moved below here. My final half is here. Since it still has green bop, I'm not moving up all of my stop to here. I'm just moving up half. So if I had 100 shares and I got knocked out of 50 here and have 50 left, I will have 25 here and 25 at today's low a day. But all of those stocks closed below the 50-day moving average on above average volume. They all kept their green bop and they all held above the final cut loss levels preventing full sells. The only full sell is NBN and I still have some shares left because I believe 2320, it says that I still have two stops on the book, but either way, whatever this stop is still on the book for me 2275 so my final stop is at 2270 that is now no more with the stock closing below the signal date slow of day with it doing it on above average volume with it doing it while losing green bop that's a 100 percent full sell signal but since i still have some shares i'm moving my final stop to below 2320 so if tomorrow the stock hits 2315 I'll be completely out of it and it will no longer be tracked on an end of day basis because it's already been sold out for a full sell signal. Now for me, I'll continue to track it in the stocks I am long list, hence that little white arrow, until it closes below 2320 on a closing basis and then it will be removed from my stocks I am long scan. But the full sell signal on an end of day basis is today, so it's done for the new positions page. All right, everyone, another long video lesson, but that's how these are going to be if we're going to do the sell signals along with the long signals in this insane uptrend that refuses to even showcase a 5% pullback. Aloha and a post-Merry Christmas, everyone.